Hello, my dear students. I'm very glad to see you. Let's start our lesson. Today we're going to revise all the material which we have learned during the unit Hobbies and Qualities. Today we're going to listen to the text, read the text and do a speaking activity. Are you ready to start? I'm sure yes. Our first task is listening. We're going to listen to an interview. My dear students, during the lesson you will get points. The total number of your points should be 15. That's why prepare your exercise books and pens and note your points. So, we're going to listen to the interview and we should answer one question. What is Zarina talking about? Let's listen. Zarina I understand why people take up some hobbies, like learning to play the piano or going jogging. But there are others I just don't get. My dad, for instance, is crazy about stamps. You know, those little pieces of paper we used to stick on envelopes. I mean, some of them are pretty, but what's the point? Hardly anyone writes letters these days. He spends hours looking at them and ordering them. I sometimes help him and he tells me stories about his favourite stamps. I guess it's his own free time and he should decide how to spend it. By the time he's 60, he'll have collected thousands of stamps from around the world. So, are you ready to answer the question? Let's check it together. And the answer for this question is, she is talking about her father's hobby. That is great. Now we are going to listen to the text again. Our task is to answer these questions. Let's read the questions and possible answers together. Zarina's dad is crazy about fishing, collecting stamps or reading comics. Question number two. How much time does he spend on his hobby? Not much, 30 minutes a day or hours? Question number three. How many stamps had he collected? Thousands or just a thousand or just a hundred? What do you think? And the last number four. What does Zarina think of her father's hobby? She hates her dad's hobby, she likes it very much, or she thinks it is waste of time. Well, boys and girls, take a photo of these questions. It will help you to choose the correct answers. Let's do it together. Number one, Zarina's dad is crazy about fishing. Collecting stamps or reading comics? You are right. Zarina's dad is crazy about collecting stamps. Question number two. How much time does he spend on his hobby? Not much. 30 minutes a day or hours? Of course, the right answer is hours. He spends a lot of hours on his hobby. Number three. How many stamps had he collected? Thousands, a thousand or a hundred? You are right, thousands. Can you imagine it? Number four. What does Zarina think of her father's hobby? She hates it, she likes it very much, or she thinks it is waste of time. And the correct answer is, of course, she thinks it is waste of time. My dear students, our next task is reading. We're going to read the text and then we will do a very interesting task. First, let's read the text together. Please, 
Follow my reading. Billy Elliot. Billy Elliot lived in England with his dad and brother. Billy's father made him take up boxing, but he hated it. Billy's interest was dancing, but he carried it in a secret. He joined a group of girls doing ballet dances. Billy's ballet teacher encouraged him to enter the Royal Ballet School in London. When she told Billy's father, he told that Billy wasn't allowed to dance anymore. One day he saw Billy's dancing and realized that his son was talented and did everything for his son to enter the school. He hadn't got any money, but people in the town raised money for him together. Finally, Billy entered the school and after years of study, he ended up as a professional ballet dancer. Now our next task is to make the sentences true or false. First, let's read the sentences. Billy's father made him take up swimming. Billy loved boxing. He joined a group of girls secretly. He didn't want to enter the Royal Ballet School in London. And the last. People in the town donated money for Billy. My dear students, you are going to read the text again. Take your time. So, sentence number one. Billy's father made him take up swimming. What do you think? It is true or false? You are right. It is false. Because Billy's father made him take up boxing. Let's continue. Billy loved boxing. What do you think? You are right, it is false again, because Billy loved dancing. Let's continue. Billy joined a group of girls secretly. What do you think? It is true or false? Very good, it is true. He didn't want his father to know about his hobby. Number four. He didn't want to enter the Royal Ballet School in London. What do you think? You are right, it is false. Of course, Billy wanted to enter the Royal Ballet School in London. And the last sentence. People in the town donated money for Billy. So, the right answer is true. Very good. My dear students, please count your points. If you have five points for listening and five points for reading, you are great. Let's continue. We have the last task. 
and our task is speaking. We are going to answer some questions. I will help you to do this task. Let's read the first question. What do you like doing in your spare time? Spare means free time. So, what do you like doing in your free time? You can say, I'm crazy about taking photos. Or you can use, I'm keen on collecting stamps. Or you can say, I really like playing hockey. So, my dear students, what is your answer for this question? Let's continue. What is your hobby? When do you do it? Where? And what do you need for it? So, you can say, my hobby is taking photos. I do it in my free time or when I go on holidays. Of course, you need a good camera for this hobby. Very good. Let's continue. What kind of hobbies are popular among teenagers? What do you think? What kind of hobbies are popular? You can say, Riding horses is very popular among teenagers. Or you can say, Skateboarding is very popular among teenagers. Or you can say that a lot of teenagers like playing chess. Very good. Let's continue. How can your hobby help you find the right job in the future? What do you think? In this case, you can answer like this. You can say, in the future, I want to be a musician. That's why my hobby is playing drums. Or you can say, my hobby is making wooden sculptures. And in the future, I'm going to sell all my sculptures. That is good. You're going to be very rich. My dear students, that was the last task. And I'm sure you did your best. If you have one, six points, you are not bad. If you have seven or twelve points, you are good. And I'm sure you have 13, 14 or 15 points. That means you are excellent. Well done, my dear students. Now we can finish our lesson. The lesson is over. Thank you. Goodbye.